2021 looked pretty promising from the start, and it's exactly what we'd hoped for given the events that occurred in 2020, but was it truly the light at the end of the tunnel? It's time for another one of those year in review videos. Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's your boy Galpy, of course. And yeah, 2021. Um, I would have to sort of agree that it kind of wasn't the light at the end of the, at the, end of the tunnel. Um, but, you know, that being said, there were definitely, you know, high highs and low lows. Um, at least for me personally and a lot of the people, you know, in my in my country, uh, being an Australian, we had a, a really solid uh, first half of the year, uh, given the events of the uh, the global pandemic of last year, um, and as we soon found out to be a lot of this year as well. Uh, my country dealt with it very very well um, until, of course, you know, some of the new variants popped up at around the middle of the year, July, uh, up until now is when we're, we're really dealing with uh, the next big challenge, uh, which sort of puts a damper on the, uh, the end of the year. Um, but, you know, that's what the next year is for. And hey, that is the next year, 2022. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to it a lot. If I want to go back to 2021, just have a reflection of the entire year. Um, I think 2021 was definitely um, a bit of an up and down. In terms of the channel, it was definitely a down. Um, I very much, um, yeah, took a step back from the channel, um, and, you know, decided to focus on my, my university studies, and as some of you know from some of my videos or some of my streams, by the way, be sure to check out my streams every weekend, we do one stream a week just on gaming content, but, um, I had a, an internship that lasted about six months from July to December, so that was a huge undertaking. Um, but as I said to a few people, especially to some of my members as well, shout out all the members, um, link in the description below to join. <laughs> um, there was, it was a good experience for me to have a bit of a snapshot of what it's like to be juggling a nine to five job and also be doing YouTube. Um, I definitely picked up a few things. I realized that, you know, I could definitely push myself to do it, but at the same time, it comes with a bit of... I wouldn't say burnout. I guess burnout's the right uh, the right word to say, but I hate using the word burnout because I feel like I never am truly burnt out of the content that I do. It's just that you know I'd be physically burnt out, not mentally burnt out, because you know working you know a nine to five in an office, uh, at least that's where I was placed, uh, and coming home at about you know six seven p.m. and then you know forcing myself to pump out a video, um, I'd be working working non-stop to about like 10 p.m. So it's definitely not something sustainable, but I was for the most part for quite some time able to keep up that one video per week and of course the weekend streams as well. So that's something I'm really happy about as well. And if you are interested, like I said before while I was shouting at the streams, if you are interested in keeping up with more of my content, um, if I don't, you know, post a drum cover uh, within the week, I do stream on the weekends. And that's, you know, that's been a great way for me to build my audience. Um, and, you know, it's great because, you know, it's much less uh, of a viewership compared to, you know, if I do a drum stream, which, by the way, we had two incredible drum streams this year, both on my 21st birthday and on the big five year anniversary. So, you know, launching the YouTube membership program for this, um, as well as, you uh, doing the streams has definitely, you know, helped me and really uh, opened my eyes uh, and opened your guys' eyes as well to, you know, some of the interaction that we can have with each other. And it really is super cool. And that's, you know, also thanks to my Discord as well. That's also in the link in the description below. Um, but yeah, from a channel point of view, it was scaled back a little bit. But for me personally, you know, my university life, my professional career life, um, it was an incredible year for me. And you know, I wouldn't say it was as good as last year, but it was pretty damn good. I mean, I'm someone that's a bit of an optimist, so I try to find the good in everything, and I still think that 2021 was definitely a very, very good year. Um, so what does that mean for 2022? Well, um, like we did with 2020, uh, 2022 is going to be focused right back into the channel. Um, starting with you know, the new season, or at least, you know, we still have, I believe I'll be wanting to post my first video, uh, of the, the new winter 2022, um, season of anime, 
around the 8th or 9th of January, which leaves us with about a week to still, you know, trickle over from some of the previous uh, season of content. You know, there are some full sizes that I wanted to do. There are some last minute covers. Yeah, like I know a lot of you have been asking me for Demon Slayer. Um, so I do know uh, that is definitely on the way. So I'm super excited for a lot of the things that are going to be happening within the next year. Another goal of mine that I want to set being on the topic of new year is um, I want to stream more. Uh, I think this was definitely a goal I set myself um, last year, but yeah, like I said, or last year being 2021, it's a goal that I set for myself in 2021, but I think, like I said, I sort of, it sort of fell through with all the, the stuff going on in my life um, that I had to sort of take a back seat on the channel. But now, like I said, I'll be having a lot of spare time going into my final... Ironic that I'll be having a lot of spare time going into my final year of university. But, yeah, no, things are, like, really looking up for me. Um, and I'll be able to redirect and focus in all on the channel next year. So hopefully 2022 will be the year of Gal P once again. Because if we want to talk, like, numbers and statistics, 2021... Uh, sorry, 2020 was an absolutely incredible year for Gal P. Um, we had pretty much around like a growth of 70 almost 80,000 subscribers in the one year um whereas this year we've <laughs> only amassed um around about I think 20,000 subscribers so it's a much a drastically slower uh rate than last year but I think that's honestly okay um because like I said you know I was completely fine with taking a step back from the channel for a little bit uh, and still, you know, wanting to get my videos out once per week, but I wasn't going to shoot myself in the foot or really like get in over my head if I really, uh, if I missed a week or two. And, you know, like I said, I still have the streams going every weekend and I'm, I'm proud to say that I haven't missed a week ever since May of last year. And speaking of, I was very, uh, I'm proud to announce that, you know, I have my, uh, some of the stream projects that we did, of course, we play Smash Bros all the time. But our major stream projects, we started the year off with Persona 5 Royal, uh, and that was a very beloved series. A lot of people really, really enjoyed that series, so I was quite happy to see that succeed. Um, and it really uh, was also a bit of a step up in production for uh, my streams as well, so I was very happy to, you know, experiment a little bit uh, with that. Um, and it, kept, it just kept on building. We had Persona 5 Royal running for about 30 weeks, and then we had uh, a short intermission series of uh, our Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, and I got a little more fancy with, you know, some of the production work and the animation. And of course, shout out to, to Summary Mints uh, for making pretty much the stream layouts for all of these as well. Uh, upping the production quality in that uh, respect. And then of course, my current project as well, because Pokemon Black ran for about 10 weeks. It was, about, it was a pretty short series. Um, in preparation for uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which is currently being streamed every week, um, which is a much more casual, uh, I guess, let's play or like playthrough. Um, so I've been definitely, you know, enjoying that. I think we're about just, uh, we're about to be seven weeks in on that one. Uh, and I can definitely foresee this going to about, you know, 15, 17 weeks, um, just because it's a much more casual playthrough. I'm just playing it at my own pace. I'm uh, really enjoying everything being, you know, a, uh, a really special game to me, one of my favorites, uh, at least it's a remaster of one of my favorites, similar to, of course, Xenoblade from last year, but streaming aside, um, or at least the weekend streams aside, uh, I do want to try and do more drum streams, uh, a lot of you love the drum streams, um, and, you know, the, the proof is in the pudding, right? Um, of course, you see these drum streams perform exceptionally well compared to my, uh, my other gaming streams. And so I would want to aim for, you know, monthly streams. I would love to do that. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, if you guys have any ideas, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Any ideas for certain drum streams or just, you know, it could be just a, a chillax drum stream as well. Um, I'd definitely be down to try and up uh, how much I can stream uh, and have it be accessible because, you know, and the real kicker about this channel, which is both uh, a blessing and can sometimes be a tiny bit of a curse, is um, my international, my, my reach internationally. Um, being an English speaker, I can't really speak, you know, Indonesian or Japanese or Chinese or Spanish. And a lot of my viewers 
uh, from those different areas. I think I have only about like a 30% English audience. So, um, which probably explains why the gaming streams don't do as well, but it makes the drumming streams all the better. Um, and I definitely, you know, want to capitalize on that. And I know you guys will be, uh, really happy to see more of that as well. So yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up for how the year is going to be. Uh, for 2022 and you know that sort of reflection on 2021 uh i've really enjoyed this year i hope you guys have as well albeit you know we're still in the middle of a uh, a global event that's going on i hope everyone is staying safe um and i hope you all had a happy holiday season we did have christmas just passed i did i did i was able to post the christmas special uh i couldn't live my, with myself if i did not but i'm glad that you know everyone enjoyed it there spread a bit of christmas cheer in some of these trying times uh, and even if you don't celebrate Christmas, the, the holiday season is definitely, you know, something we can all get around. And a week later, we're, we're straight into the new year. So with that being said, thank you all so much for your time, for being with me. If you found the channel this year, or if you've been a long-standing viewer, maybe if you even found the channel like last week, I recently did a drum review as well, which is a really fun video to do. Um, I really do appreciate all your support, every view, every like, every comment, um, all the members, the subscriptions. Everyone that has just made this community so good. Um, I wish you all the best for 2022. And um, yeah, let's go into the new year, guns blazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next year.